Good morning, Cowan Heights and St. John's. It's Tuesday morning. I didn't sleep well. I'm probably going to be cranky today, as usual. But at least it's a beautiful day out. Look at that nice sun. It's nice, isn't it? Hopefully that'll help increase the mood a bit. And maybe I'll get a chance to get out for a walk with the dog later. But first, I need a refill of coffee. Because since it's Tuesday, that means I have my psychiatrist appointment or my psychologist appointment at 10 a.m. and I hate them. I just just don't like them. It's like every time you have an appointment, you're tearing scabs off wounds or something. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, they help, but they also hinder. I guess is one way of putting it. Nectar of the gods. Come forth and caffeinate. Did I ever mention that psychologist appointments can be very tough? Yeah, this was tough. I made it to the hardware store. Yay. Let's see. I need 20 inches. 24, 22, 24, 20. God, nothing is cheap, is it? So here goes nothing. I'm going to tackle those drawers now in the kitchen. The worst part is emptying the drawers. And they're out. That was the easy part. All right, I got the new hardware on there. Got it in there. Now, let's see what happens. It's done, as good as I can get it done. A couple screws snapped off, but I think it's still supported pretty good. Done. Share time now. She's bright. That wasn't too bad. It took me three hours from the end of my psychiatrist appointment or my psychologist appointment to finish that. That includes going to the store, picking up materials. I think I did okay for somebody who yesterday didn't think I had a chance in hell of doing it. So I'll accept this as a win. I forgot to change my calendar. It's March now. The drone photo I took of salmon ear. What do we have for next month? Tides Cove. Tides Point is out this way. This is Tides Cove Beach right here. Capelin come in here quite a bit. My grandfather, uh, he drowned just in behind here uh, when I was eight months old, I think I was. I like this photo. I spent a lot of time out behind those hills. Yeah, I think we hung the calendar there a few times. There we go. Herring Cove and Tides Cove. Good for a month.
Well, it's been a couple hours since I installed those uh, sliders on my kitchen cupboards. And <clears throat> I've noticed that the uh, there's no uh, no sense of satisfaction or accomplishment lingering from it, and uh, that's uh, that's a big hurdle because I think if I had a sense of accomplishment, like yes, I did it, and that lingered a bit more then perhaps I'd be more inclined to try other tasks to try and continue to achieve that sense of accomplishment that I've been feeling good about. But I don't feel that. Like, I don't feel great that I... Compl I it's like there's relief, I guess, a sense of relief, but it's not the sense of relief, like, yes, I did it. It's kind of like somebody kicking you in inside and kicking you in the side of the head over and over and over and when they stop kicking you in the head you don't feel a sense of satisfaction because it's done it's finished the task is over you uh it's kind of like that with uh, with tasks that i do it's like just getting kicked in the head over and over <clears throat> it doesn't uh it doesn't give that sense of fulfillment that uh that it seems a lot of people get because I was talking to my cousin, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that, <coughs> a few days ago, and uh, and that's what he said. Like, do you get satisfaction from it? And I said, no. And I, he said, that's why I do it. He said, because I get that sense of satisfaction. And I'm like, I'm doing it just to make it stop. That's pretty much where I'm at. It's like there's a task to be done and like, I'd sooner get kicked in the head, and uh, doing the task just makes the kicking in the head stop, if that makes sense. A little break from Stephen King today. My little buddy's over there. He just recovered from a seizure. It's his first seizure in a while. Hate watching him go through it. This is my evening routine now, watching Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, and NTV News. I must be getting old. Yeah, screw off, Eddie. If you haven't tried these pizzas and garlic bread from Costco, you're missing out. They, uh, they're a great combo. Tastes pretty good. Reminds me quite a bit of Little Caesars. Evening News Hour is basically an hour-long version of First Edition, just with more weather reports, I think. Looks pretty good. Somebody's feeling better. Hey. Having a bite to eat. From your shopper, are ya? <laughs> Got my nature sounds going. Time to read some holly. What do you want? Hey? You look like somebody who wants to play. Is that what it is? Good to see you're feeling better, buddy. And how relevant is this today?
Yep, he reappeared. Well, today is hump day, and uh, I usually like hump days, but uh, not this time because I see what's on the other side of this hump, and I don't like it. Got uh, two appointments tomorrow, psychiatrist appointment and my ketamine treatment. But beyond that, we're getting about 60 or 80 centimeters of snow. And uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. It, uh, it, gets me, it gets me worked up for some reason. Usually I like snow, but uh, this year it's been a different relationship. And it's weird, but because of all that crap that's coming up after today, I didn't sleep well last night. I can guarantee I won't sleep. I won't sleep well tonight either, because uh, anytime I have appointments or anything like that, it's always on the back of my mind when I go to bed and go to sleep. And it's the same thing with other things from my past that I think about that I'm not sharing here with you. But uh, yeah, it's uh, sleep has uh, been a bit off, and. Uh, and the slightest fluctuation in sleep has a huge impact on me and my mood and my emotions and how I tolerate. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy how, how, um, I don't know how easy I am affected by it. So today hasn't been a very exciting day at all. I'm not motivated just don't want to do anything, but I've been back and forth between meditating and uh, and reading a bit. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty much all I've been at today. Back and forth, back and forth, going through the motions. I almost made it to bed without this. Welcome to Ketamine Thursday. Yeah, another day I don't want to face. Didn't sleep so well last night. Shoulders were acting up. Just hearing noises and and I do everything I can to make sure I don't hear noises because when I go to bed I had the fan going in our bedroom we uh, I 90 percent of the time I wear noise canceling earbuds I keep those in all night and but sometimes they fall out they wake me up when they fall out I also have this uh, sleeping headband. It wraps right around your head. It has little tiny speakers that sit over your ears and the controls are right here on your forehead. But you can actually take it and slide it down over your eyes slightly to blocking things out. So I use that sometimes and uh, other times, like last night I used a combination of my headphones plus earplugs. So I do everything I can to make sure that I can get a good night's sleep, but it's uh, still waking up, still tossing and turning, and uh, waking up earlier than I'd like and just not being able to fall back asleep, it's, uh, it takes a toll after a while. It's 10.30 in the morning. I got my couple bagels, or one bagel cooking right now. Two and a half minutes left. Uh, my, uh, my appointment's at, at one o'clock. And as I mentioned in other videos, you're not allowed to eat within two hours of the appointment. So I'm kind of uh, <clears throat> scram, not scrambling, but I need to get this done now. Plus I got a psychiatrist appointment in a half an hour at 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock, psychiatrist appointment. 
one o'clock ketamine appointment. I'm, uh, <clears throat> it's not my day. <laughs> and I have no idea why my anxiety is so high about snow coming because it's just snow. And I know that all it takes is 20 minutes, 30 minutes with the snow blower and, uh, and my yard is done. But yet this got me really, really worked up, impacting everything. Like this is the first time I've lost sleep over snow coming. Actually, no, it's not. I've uh, felt it before, but it's uh, it's irrational, and I know it. And uh, but yet, constant, twenty four seven anxiety. Can't do nothing about it. Most likely, it's not even the snow that's causing the anxiety. I just have the anxiety and the snow that's coming has got me worked up and uh, I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that my wife is working this weekend so therefore she has to get up and leave work around 6 30 in the morning because she's a nurse so uh, I hate the thought of using a snowblower at six o'clock in the morning because I know it's going to disturb my neighbors there my neighbors there my neighbors there and that stuff plays on my mind a lot. So my fingers are crossed that this snow is going to be light enough that I can just go out with a shovel to uh, make enough room for my wife to get out to go to work. And then I'll just come out later on and finish the rest. Because that's all you can do, I guess. Bagels are done. Gotta go. These ones got a got a bit of a kick to them. They got jalapenos in them. Notice that after the first bite pretty quick. Just got off the phone with my psychiatrist. Uh, so it looks like because it's taking so long for the ketamine to have an effect on me that they're going to be extending my treatment for another month. So I probably got another six treatments left instead of two or three. Oh well, that's it. What can you do, right? Go with the flow. Go with the motions. Fake it till you make it. He also let me know that once these nasal administered treatments are done, if I'm not improved, they're going to start considering doing the uh, intravenous uh, administration of the ketamine. So I hope this works because I'd sooner be squirting something in my nose than getting needles every couple of weeks or so. Transportation has arrived. So for today's session, I'm not sure if I want to listen to nature sounds or music or just uh, listen to nothing to see what happens. Because I'm not sure if either or has a different impact on the results or not. But I tend to like the nature sounds because they kind of relax me a bit. Yeah, maybe I'll stick with, stick with nature sounds. Maybe the next time I should take the elevator. Tim Hortons is busy. First dose is in. Blood pressure is okay, although it was up the first time she tried, and I think that was because we were talking about all the snow coming. Second dose is in, and I decided to go with uh, guided meditation this time.
Well, another one done. Time to get ready and, uh, oh. When you first stand up, it's always a bit uh, unnerving. <laughs> time to get ready and head home. Cab's underway. Cab is quick this time. They say that when you're on ketamine, you're supposed to get out and be active and do things. But how the hell are you supposed to do that when you got 80 centimeters of snow coming? And it's starting. Because I know one thing, clearing snow isn't, uh, isn't activating at all. I'm going to resort to eating popcorn to distract me from what's coming. All right, so uh, what is it? Friday, Friday morning. Yeah, it's starting to drift everywhere. Not a lot of snow down yet. It's been mostly uh, ice pellets. Well, it worked out for me this morning. I didn't have to get up and do any shoveling because it was just the ice pellets. So my wife had no troubles just driving out over that. One drug, more drugs. Saturday, but today is Friday. Doesn't add up, does it? I think I'm going to need a few of these today after uh, that lack of sleep last night. Kept waking up the uh, the whole having to shovel out the driveway thing was playing on my mind all night and it was weird every single sound I'd jump and listen okay do I need to go shovel the driveway now. Once I heard the plow go by then that of course got the adrenaline going a bit and uh, it was like that the whole night. Every night, every noise, just I just kept waking up, thinking snow. That's it, it's snow. And um, how do you shake that? How do you get rid of that? I don't know. It's uh, there's definitely worse things to wake up and be concerned about because I used to have a lot of nightmares in the past, and uh, and those were worse. But still, it's. Uh, it sucks having your sleep interrupted like that and it takes a toll especially when you're sensitive to, uh, to sleep deprivation because I find that I I know I might sound pitiful here <laughs> I don't know. but I like I need my sleep I'm not somebody that can go without lack of sleep because it really has a tremendous impact on my on my mental health the following day and even a few days lingering afterwards so uh, it's important to me it's crucial since it's a snow day I might as well watch a movie right that movie I'm half an hour into it it's uh, it's actually not too bad it's pretty good it's, it's a slow paced show but I, I enjoy those slow burns that drag right out stuff like um, uh, Breaking Bad, like that kind of show. It just drags right out, but it's uh, mesmerizing. That's kind of what this show is like. It's got Benicio Del Toro, uh, Justin Timberlake is in it, and uh, Christina Applegate, I think it is, or Alicia Silverstone. I keep getting those two mixed up. Whichever one was not in Dead to Me, that's the one. The one that was not in um, Al Bundy. What was that show? Married with Children, yeah. Anyway, it's a good show so far. Makes me wish I had my own plow. Well, the plow came by once. Snow was building up quite a bit. 
I got about five, maybe six hours, and then I got to head out and clean it up to get it ready for my wife. Miserable day. Always of owning a mini split is you got to go outside and clear the snow away from it. See, the snow starts building up around it. So I got to clear it out every couple hours. It should be good for another two or three hours, hopefully. Footprints are almost filled in that quick. Boot prints. After that, it's time for a coffee, another one. How many is too many? Because I might be having too many. This is probably my fourth, I think, so far today. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. I figure the next day or two are going to be nothing but me clearing snow, so I'm not going to be whining about that anymore. There's nothing I can do about it, right? Anyway, going through the motions, and uh, thanks again for your support and for watching. And uh, see you in my next video.